the three things from what you said that are so important. One, you're like kind of delusional. That's how you become successful. Be delusional. Be delusional. Never. Make it till you make it. Yeah, if it sounds too good to be true, it is definitely too good to be true. Yeah. <laughs> and not probably. It definitely, definitely is. I don't know. <laughs> This is Anything and Everything, a space for creatives, talent, and entertainers such as comedians, actors, models, musicians, and creatives bring production to life. A place to be seen, to be heard, to share their stories and advice with the world, and a place to be celebrated. Life shrinks for its path in proportion to one's courage. Trust me, you are not going to want to miss this. Be sure to tune in to the YouTube channel every Friday. You guys think? Welcome back. I'm your host, Jessica Shea, and this is part two of Michelle's interview. Welcome back, Hi, everyone. Thank you. It's great to be back. Who inspires you? I don't know if there's one person who I can name, but I love like entrepreneurs and like creative people and people who just have ideas like out of nothing that sound crazy and then they just go and make them happen. Yeah, like delusional ideas yes. and then they execute. Yeah, it's okay. It's so funny to use that word because I told my mom the other day, I was like, sometimes I feel like I'm delusional because I just like say these things and like, like who am I to think that I could go and do this like crazy thing like be an actress or like the other day I was on talking to my mom and I was like maybe I should be a comedian and I'm like what am I thinking you know hey you know it's right. like those are the people who actually like make things happen is when you're like you're delusional it's true you know how many times growing up I had such a delusional thought of like doing something in my life and people are like good luck with that yeah. and then I'm like well like I can't get my mind off of it I'm almost attached to it now and it's like you're you're so delusional that it's almost reality to you that it's like you can make this happen and you will do anything to make it happen right it's like there's no doubt in your mind that you like you will not make this happen like failure is not an option right and that that those are the people who show up and execute yes get on the runway and get published and get their get their dream moment that they truly desire and win that award or participate in that exactly. activity or something yeah it, it's so crazy because i feel like the only way that i really make things happen like the show is all off a of delusion from uh, the original thoughts that right. were in my head of like, how can I make a great talk show? How can I get people involved? Mm -hmm. And um, just spending hours behind the desk at the gym because I work at the gym yeah. and like moments when it was so slow and nobody was coming in and I'm just in my thoughts and I'm just thinking of everything under the sun. I've had like a whole cup of espresso. It's like thinking of all of the names to do the pod show, the guests that I'm like, I made a full list at work of all the people I wanted on the pod show. And like just everything between the marketing to like the topics to um, what to focus in on. I was trying to do all the organizing. All of that came from uh, just thoughts in my head of me thinking, I want to do something great and um, give back, have people have a space to be able to share their stories. And I love talking. So I love like being able to have these moments where I can see and just chat with people. I know some people are doing these podcasts, but I have so many awesome friends. I have so many friends with great stories. I have great stories. And I also have so many people who are in this space that need a space to be able to talk about their stories. I have friends who have stories and like they come on, they talk about them. And it's like they didn't have a place to really talk about them. Here I am giving not only myself, but other people a place to be able to like share. Yeah, I yeah, know. But I think like the three things like from what you said, they're so important. It's like one, you're like kind of delusional, but two, like you work so hard towards the idea and like you have a purpose behind it. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like the combination of those three things is when someone has a crazy idea and they actually like make it happen because yeah. it means so much to them. Right. Right. Because right. right. they'll find everything. Yeah, like, exactly. And that's, that's how it works. That's how you become successful. <laughs> be delusional. Be delusional. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. What's like a scare, like your scariest Hollywood story? You have, like a scary Hollywood story? Um... I feel like I've been pretty lucky. I haven't been here that long. Okay. It, well, it's been 10 months now. Wow. So relatively new. I haven't had any horror stories. I've been pretty lucky, but I'm also a pretty good sense of character. And if I feel like I'm entering into a situation that might be off, like I can sense it very early on and I get myself out of it. So like, obviously, like there's so many like creepy photographers. There's people who making films, like weird things. But like I can usually sense it and then I'm not afraid of standing up and being like, I'm going to leave now. Yeah. So. So you have a good backbone. Yeah. Once you determine and read a room, read a situation, yeah. read a person. It it's crazy because people come out here. They're so excited about getting started, being so close to all the great things, the famous people. 
but they get lost in the sauce. Yeah. And they also have trouble reading who's being manipulative, who's lying, okay. who is going to take advantage. People fall into really bad holes, really bad stories, scary stories. I have tons of scary stories, probably we won't get into it. I was curious to know what yours were. Yeah. Add one. Well, so I like I'm 28 years old. And so I feel like I had enough life experiences before coming out here where like I was in a very good position when I got here. And so I I can sense when someone's not telling the truth. I might not tell them that I know I'm yeah, lying. They don't know. They have no idea. No, no, I'm from Ohio. People look at me and they're like, you're not going to make it out here. Like, you're too sweet. I'm like, like, I know what's going on. I'm just not saying anything. Yeah. <laughs> right. Not acknowledging it. Right. I'm the same way. Because people yeah. think, oh, you're too kind of a person. Yeah. Too nice. People are going to take advantage of you. And I'm like, no, I'm actually really badass. And I'm actually really cut through. But I just don't let people know right. that I have these standards or these expectations. And a lot of times I won't express it. But I also will make sure for my safety that, like, if I see something, I might not let you know that I see yeah. it, but I'm aware and probably read that with me, like, especially with, with Vegas, groups of uh, people in in the industry and just being aware of what, what they might be about, what their intentions are. Yeah, like, I might be kind to them and hang out, but I, I only go so far because I know what the deal is. And usually, I you know, it's like one keyword or one key movement. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, confirmed. Yeah, I know. Exactly. You know what you see. You see it. You know it. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's very, very important for success in, in this industry because that's where people do get lost. Well, you're a smart girl. So it's, it's good to be that way. I think that's what's going to keep you going and successful is staying clear of. <laughs> yeah, it's very important. As a piece of advice for those out there who want to get into the industry, want to model, want to travel and model, be very aware of who you're working with. Be aware of the people that are trying to give you opportunities. Do your research because sometimes people will talk up a storm that they're connected to this person, they can get you this job, but it's usually with some sort of expectation or intention that yeah. isn't in your favor. It's in their favor. And and then you end up getting into some shit situation. Yeah, if it sounds too good to be true, it is definitely too good to be true. Yeah. <laughs> And not probably it definitely definitely <laughs> i love that great piece of advice do you have advice to share is there any more advice you want to share because that was actually a really good piece of advice <laughs> it's hard to think of just one thing yeah there's so much to say to like warn people or to have people be aware that's so sad it's like so awesome to warn people i'm right it sounds so bad nobody tell her out it's true it's true i would rather go slower and do it like I guess with good intentions and then being honest and everything and like have integrity and so I think that's kind of where people get caught up is when they're like let me take a shortcut or like let me do this sleazy thing to get ahead exactly but you can't last in this industry like that because everyone talks Yes, things are going to come out everything's yep. online nowadays yeah and so I feel like you just have to like be honest and straightforward with people take care of yourself you just have to like take the high road mm -hmm. right eyes open or yeah. eyes wide shut yeah okay it's like we were just talking yeah. about like, you may not know or like is that worried but we know but we know a lot of people in the industry tend to want to rush right into things or take the shortcut and that's because they're like either just impatient or want to get there now and don't realize that sometimes we're trusting the wrong people because we're trying to go too fast we're getting mistreated by people because we just want to get there right away. Yeah. And sometimes that's not the best way. Yeah. And I think nowadays everyone thinks you can get famous just like that so quickly. And like, yeah, maybe you'll get your 15 seconds of fame. But to actually have a career, it takes years to yeah. like, like build the experience, the connections, your like a following who really cares about you and is interested in what you do. And so, like, there really is no shortcut to it. Yeah. You want to have, like, a long-term career. Right. Like, something successful. Exactly. And valuable. Yeah. Since modeling is, like, your main your main thing, right? Modeling and acting. Yeah. So, you don't do any, like, side gigs, like, little side hustles or anything like that? So, I have a full-time job. Oh, okay. Tell yeah. us about it. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm so busy all the time is yeah. I'm still working full-time. So, um, I work for a company that trains teachers and school leaders in low-income schools, oh. and I do business development for them. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, so full-time. Full-time. Wow. Full-time and then modeling and acting. Too. Yeah. Sometimes you got to have, like, that full-time job. Yeah. I don't have a full-time job, but I call it my full-time job because it's my tax purpose reasons and like consistently every week I have to show up and hawk in at, at, the, at the gym. I don't work full time, but I could get close to full time hours, but I just choose not to. So it's part time. But modeling isn't sustainable sometimes. Like we were just re referring to the pay sometimes isn't there. And it's tough because it's like 
we got to fall back on some sort of income that's stable. So no, so you have a full-time job that you do outside of modeling. Yeah. And so also like, I'm so thankful to have that job yeah. because honestly, I'm really happy that I don't have to worry about like my finances. I think the people who do, like, I feel like when you're stressed about you know, how you're going to be paying for food, rent, whatever. That's when you start accepting the opportunities that are sketchy or weird or you're, yeah, you're trying to get money in different ways that are not good for you. Um, like I'm so much more exhausted because I am working full time, but it's definitely worth it to me because I can pick and choose the things that I want to do or and I can do modeling, even though I'm not getting paid as much as I would like to for it. Right. Um, and so I, I have more freedom in the jobs that I accept. Exactly. So you can still participate, not get paid, yeah. knowing that it's not the only type of income you have. Yeah. So it makes it easier to participate because you're like, I have something I can follow. Right. That's exactly. Cool. I think most people who are in the modeling industry, a lot of girls don't have something to fall on to. Okay. So they're, you know, they're living tight or they just simply are savage living in a way, desperate. And it's not a good mindset or a good place to be. But I, I do advise that most people who are in the industry modeling at least have some sort of main job, full-time job or side gig that brings in a consistent flow of money to fall on to. Are you out here with family or are you just, you live in a, no, I, a roommate or by yourself? I live by myself. Yeah, I came out here alone. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so, so family out here or no? No, no. All my family's on the East Coast. Okay, so where are you from again? I don't know if I asked you that. In New York. I'm no, I'm originally from Columbus, Ohio. Oh, Ohio, right. From Ohio. Um, I did my undergrad in Notre Dame in Indiana. I used to be a teacher, so I lived in Texas for a couple of years. Oh, wow. Then I got my master's in New York. Wait, wait, wait. So you went to college long enough to get a master's? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh my God. The dream. Oh, okay. I dropped out of college. I dropped out of art. Out of all schools to drop out of art college. Okay, it happens. Yeah, so I, I got my master's in nonprofit management at Columbia in New York. So that's why I was in New York. And then I actually spent two and a half years traveling. Wow. Um, Before I came out here. Yeah. And you just loved it here. And the, yeah. the opportunities were here. I'd been out here a couple of times to visit and I had always loved it. And um, with modeling, so many more opportunities. And I did want to get into acting too. And this is a place to do it. Yeah. So right. it's like, just move across the country. Let it go. I moved across the country too. Because yeah. opportunities are right here. Wanted to do acting. Just not as active. Really. I think I do a lot more like um, improv. Okay. Like, improv is fun. Yeah. I don't really like submit like the... um. You know, when you read the scripts, the, uh, mm -hmm. the filmed auditions or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I don't do any of that, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have yeah, I do. do. Yeah, you have to. But I love it. Like, yeah. I, if I could get rid of my day job and just act all the time, that's what I would do. Well, if you're submitting often, maybe one will land. They'll say, this is your part and it's a big deal. And then next thing you know, what you think is just a, a normal submission will turn into one of the next biggest feature films. And then you just so happen to be the next Wednesday or something, right? Like something viral right like the zendaya spider band like something let's speak that into existence yeah well here we are we're doing it right now for the record yeah i'm gonna play this back in a year so. right when well, you have like got yourself your set role on some tv show that's like cult following yeah do you heard it here first i am manifesting that for you thank you that way i can be like i interviewed her before she was even doing that i have friends who were always booking and landed a couple of really good gigs and friends with them beforehand and then when they went and got that big gig they don't know me anymore oh, <laughs> you know what i mean like it's like they get so busy they get so popular that they forget you I won't forget. I won't forget anyone. I won't forget anyone who's helping you get there. Don't forget me. I won't forget you. <laughs> you land that role. Yeah, thank you. Because, <laughs> like, you know how many times I, like, reach out to a friend and I was like, hey, like, this piece you're working on is really great. And I can't wait to, like, see you on the runway. Or not the runway. The uh, red carpet winning awards. Like, a, you know, the Grammys or whatever the hell. I hope that I'm right there, too, hoping to accept an award as well. Because that's that's the point here. When as it, As an artist or a creator or someone who is in the business like producing movies or directing movies or film or in films as an actor actress a lot of times you hope to get that award winning like piece right yeah and you're you're getting acknowledged because it's such a great box office moment now that's the goal right is to win the awards and that have you ever thought about that moment when you're going to be receiving your grammy or whatever for the performance that you put on of course i have i'm delusional yeah. i think about all the time now you're like I'm, i will win that award <laughs> yes i have but i feel like you kind of have to like that's what everyone's everyone who's famous is like i visualize this for years yes 
you have to. it's such a thing you have to like that's part of the process in my mind exactly and it does feel weird to me i'm like what am i doing visualizing this <laughs> right but i but i do believe that like that's what's gonna get you there it's because like you've seen it so many times and you just keep working to make it happen i think what really helps is when i play like you were saying earlier which hit home for me the imposter idea the imposter shit. sometimes you have to just play a role until it becomes you yeah they get till you make it yeah exactly yeah. say that all the time because when i went into my first podcast which um the interview i did won't be the first one i air <laughs> i wasn't aware of what like angle was good for me what questions to ask and like my friend was so supportive and he knew it was my first one and obviously the vibe was like, I've never done this before, but I have to act like I'm doing it. I'm doing it. By like the fourth and the fifth one, it gets easier. And then it, this is my show now. This is what I do. On, I don't know if you're on any casting networks or casting platforms. There's like this one post that came up and they were looking for a host for a pod show or podcast. And I submitted because I was like, oh, I actually am starting my own pod show. Here's like the pilot. So you can have an idea of kind of what I've been doing. They wrote me back. They were interested. They wanted me to do an audition. So they wanted me to read their lines. And I, I went, spent an hour trying to remember the lines. And then I filmed it for another hour. Hour, like three hours on this piece and sent them the piece and after I did it it helped me with my podcast because it helped me realize that I needed to do certain intros or I was more comfortable after reading that line so many times that it would make it easier for me to do my pod show and I, some things happen in the perfect timing so even if I don't get that job um, it helped me along my my journey now I'm submitting for podcast hosting which I, I would have uh, half a year ago would have been like I never thought I was going to be interviewing or doing podcasts, but it's like it's something I thought of and I've always been interested in and was never really me because I'm not really that person. But it's like once you do it, and you get comfortable doing it, you become that person. Right, exactly. But everyone, when they start out, they have no idea what they're doing. You just, we just don't see that side of people because we only see, you know, what's on TV, on social media. We don't see them as a beginner. Everyone who is like doing podcasts, modeling, acting, Nobody knows what they're doing when they start. And you just have to like keep working through it and figure it out. Right. And then the new people coming in look at it like you're, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like a year, I'll be like top of the charts. I'm going to be like, this moment will be so funny because we go from the beginning to being something big. Right. Hopefully. The next game we're going to play is called Who Are They? And it's a series of people in the industry. You've probably oh, seen that I'm before. so bad with names. <laughs> so bad with names. So we're going to find out. We're going to find out. It's embarrassing for it. It's going to be okay. You know, I've had several people who said I'm bad with names and then they got all of them. Okay. I'm going to try to make it easy for you. Maybe we'll see. Oh, God. <laughs> is there hints? I can give you a hit. I have, you have no idea who this is. No. <laughs> you have no idea who that is. That's my single and Kelly. I thought about saying that. I saw his picture. It was up there earlier and I, the, the hair threw me off. The pink hair. I told you I'm not going to get any of these. That's Tyra Banks. Yes. I've never seen that guy in my life. <laughs> Mr. Beast? Who is that? It's like one of the biggest YouTubers right now. He's got like almost 200 million. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's Logan Paul. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have got... Oh, back in the day. Okay, I, I think I could have gotten him now. Yeah, so do the old photos like maybe you won't know who he <laughs> Oh, that's Zed. Oh, okay, so I, you know Zed. I, I hey. hey, I did see you. <laughs> yeah, yes. 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 If I got that one wrong, that I would know. be bad. I, that's why I put that there. I was like, I wonder if she can remember. <laughs> is that also Logan Paul? Close. Is that the brother? The brother. There's the brother. Jake Paul. Jake Paul. <laughs> yes, Kelsey, you was high. You're on the right field. Have you ever played for Bonnet but, or the challenge? So about the challenge? Okay. So... Gotta open it up and unroll it. I haven't had him in years. I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> okay. Ready? All the way. All the way, yeah. Easy ad will start away. If we can. So once it's unrolled, how this works is we're gonna put this piece in our mouth. So you put it in your mouth, no hands on the count of three. Whoever eats it the fastest wins. Well, you're, you've done this. I think it's not nice. Yeah. No, you're right. It's so funny because I was losing to everyone and all of them. I got to get snub. Ready? Okay, let's go. Oh, it's so comfortable. You don't go. I don't feel it. These tastes so bad. And it's so bad for me. 
I'm really competitive. So, so like, why? I like come, I come out to play. We're out there, it's like weird games. You know, I don't know. Your mouth is so blue down. It's so funny. <laughs> That's all good. I didn't get the blue one, so you know, you see, you've done this before. I had like, no, I didn't like, think the red one. <laughs> like, actually, I have no idea which one. I usually hope for the blue one, honestly. Congratulations, good job. Thank you. And see, first it's the front by the foot chat. Yes, it is, yeah. I'm like afraid to turn towards the camera with my blue <laughs> <No. laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not, I'm just gonna get out. <laughs> Go for it. Like if you want to like model, act, do podcasts, whatever, like just get started. Even if you like, don't I feel like you have any idea what you're doing. Right. Yeah, you can learn anything over the internet nowadays if you do yeah. research. Yeah, you just have to take the first step. Yeah. Take the first step. That's so important. And then, well, thank you for being here. Thank you. you know, maybe you'll come back and return yeah. and, and um, get to do an update on you know, and have the fans get to know a little bit more about what's going on with your life as it happened. Love that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your being here. Thank you. It's a wrap. Yeah. Thank you. Well, <laughs> thank you so much.